YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. Mitos. Uh, back from hiatus, you guys. Um, actually been away for a little bit because of work. Been actually working out of state, um, traveling. And I'm home for the weekend and for the next week, so I'm gonna try to get some videos knocked out. So with that being said, I'm, I'm gonna start with the NASCAR groans. I know that these have been out for a little while now. But you guys haven't seen any of my videos and what I plan to do with any of mine. There has been a lot of changes that have taken place since I last uploaded a video. Um, I've made a lot of modifications, uh, trial and errors, just just running them in my front, uh, front of my house and trying to dial them in. And um, I do have more than one. I actually have four of them now. Um, by the looks of it, I decided to go ahead and customize a few of them. So I got a couple of clear bodies that I'm gonna go ahead and spray up a uh, body that's gonna replace this bad boy right here. Um, gotta buy another body for this one. So I'm not gonna actually, I'm gonna keep this one unran. So that'd be like your display body. This one's banged up. Um, this one right here is actually off of the, the Lucas. I've already started a conversion with the um, hex. So right so right now these guys have the um, metal diffs front and rear. And I went ahead and started the axles. So these have the same size axles as the Mojave's. So this setup right here, the wheel hex B setup will fit your NASCAR to the T. <clears throat> just be very careful on taking the um, the hexes out or the hubs uh, because the um, the um, the bearing gets stuck and then if you put pliers to that bearing you're gonna bust it and that's what I did with this one I actually cracked the bearing just so I happened I have a part bag full of grown pieces I was able to find another bearing to fit. So with that being said, I am switching out the, the axles to the metal axles, metal hubs. I got some low seat shocks on there. Um, of course, the front and rear diffs are metal. And on this bad boy, I originally had the uh, Traxxas brushed motor that I, I burnt up, but then I went ahead and replaced it with this guy right here, the FuraTech. 5900 kv combo um gotta excuse the dirtiness i just ran it not too long ago in the water um but yes i run this on 2s or 3s doesn't really matter it's a very very smooth um setup it only costs 100 bucks i actually ordered this directly through furitech.com not the us chain not a main not none of them because they're all uh, back ordered. So I actually went through the source from China to the US, took about six days and I got it. Installed it, censored wire, everything's copacetic. The only issue that I'm coming across is when I am um, driving it and I hit the gas and then I like do a power slide and hit the gas again, it goes in reverse. Um, had a conversation with my homeboy and he was like, maybe check the receiver, you know, um, and just check, make sure your wires ain't crossed. I did all of that and it's still doing it. So I don't know if it's a, a software issue with the um, ESC or whatnot. Um, I'm actually running it on um, to go with the car. I actually got a new remote too. You guys, I got the um, iX. SR remote, you gotta excuse the fly sky little handle. I need that on my wrist to hold this heavy, heavy um, remote. But this remote is pretty dope, guys. Um, I've actually started to dial it in a little bit. See my fingerprints all over it, give it an, uh, an opportunity to, to boot up. But I was able to get the app for this on there. I got my GPS app on there. Got that on there. Um, was able to get my GoPro app on there as well. 
so I can use that as a stop and start uh, button for my GoPro that I'll be having strapped to my forehead. And then, um, you guys can see I changed the back plate and display, but um, it's a few features on here. I was able to touch down and try to figure it out. It's got a lot of stuff in this remote. Um, this was a birthday gift to myself. My birthday was in the mid September. Took some time off, you know, escaped the heat here in Arizona. Hit hit San Diego up. Cop this from uh, Hobby Town, USA, and um, and San. Uh, where is it? Santee, Santee, uh, California, just right out of San Diego. So I, I cop this and um, a few more things. You know, and I got these little, I got these little guys right here too. So I got two of these guys too, uh, both colors. So me and my wife been running these bad boys. So more videos to come on those too. But <clears throat> this video is just um, is highlighting where I've been, what I'm up to, what's, what's about to go down. So this video may be a little bit longer than normal. Um, so I'm gonna actually get a body painted get a body prepped on here because I'm changing the axles out guys. Um, I won't be able to fit these on here anymore since these are the eight mil. These are the soft tires um, that I had bought like a week or two ago. Uh, I rode on these maybe once or twice. I really can't tell a difference on my streets. Got the camera. Yeah, I really can't tell a difference on my roads uh, with these because the roads are still dirty. Maybe if you're, you know, in a clean surface, you can tell the difference. But with that being said, decided to go ahead and switch out the hubs and go with a 12 millimeter uh, hex and put some rubber on these bad boys. You know, so that's next clear body. I'm actually going to manipulate, cut out the wheel wells. On the clear, I didn't want to do it on the actual NASCAR bodies. I wanted, to, I didn't want to cut those up, but I will be cutting this. This is the Camry body. Pick this up along with the other two from uh, Hobby uh, Horizon Hobby, and uh, you guys get to see the fear tech on them things. Hopefully, or the paint job. So we'll see. Let's get it. I think I'm gonna go slime green with this one, guys. Let's get it. All right, guys, check this out. I just wanted to show you a really quick look at what it looks like before I spray it. So as you guys can see, I had to do some trimming around the wheel wells. I bumped up the actual body mounts a notch in the front and the rear. I had to cut the sides of the front splitter a little bit to get a clearance for uh, these tires. And here's kind of like how we're sitting right now from the front feel me and then um, here's the other side so the only problem that I think I'm gonna have is uh, so got clearance in the rear clearance in the front I mean it turns as well it's pretty tight so I don't know I may have to just trim this just a little bit more around the front tire but other than that, you know, hopefully that these tires don't balloon too much. And, and as it balloons, it like centers. And it's not the edge of the tire. It's more or less the center. And I think we should be straight. This is the uh, Camry body. Um, I do have the Mustang and the Camaro over there as well. But decided to go with this one just to give it a shot. This is the first one I picked up. So got the um, the wing to go on it as well. Gotta get outside and uh, spray it up. Let's see how it, how it turns out. Let's get it.
All right, guys, check it out. We are complete. This was a fail. I started to paint this without the mask on the windows. <laughs> so I repainted another one, went to the hobby shop and just picked up another body. And while I was there, I got another one of those too. You feel me? So, and picked up another one of these bad boys. So now I have a total of actually five. Uh, one will be a giveaway coming soon, guys. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, here we have it. This is Lemon Drop. Lemon Drop right here. So again, guys, this one has the Fear Tech system already installed. So let me go ahead and put this back on here for you real quick. You gotta excuse the background noise. I'm actually at church right now listening. I decided to pick up the camera real quick. Um, you see the tire difference? So go ahead and put that tire in front of that one. See how much bigger the tires are. So I had to cut the wheel wells as best I could. You know, I'm not a uh, perfectionist, you feel me? But we're gonna see how it worked. And masked off the inside uh, with tape, you know, so uh, to help with the rubbing. Uh, I believe I'm gonna put a clear light in here just to let the body glow. So um, I'll go ahead and do that next, but just wanted to cut the camera on, let you guys see the finished product. This actually has like a blue pearl um, on it. You may not be able to see it on the camera. May if I take it outside, you'll be able to see it, but it's a blue pearl on here. Same thing like on this one, there's a blue pearl on that as well. But yeah, this is Lemon Drop, guys. This is my first um, NASCAR, Losi NASCAR with the hex conversion, diff conversion, motor, electronic conversion, body conversion, like remote conversion. It's just a whole lot of conversions going on with this bad boy. But that being said, let's get it outside. Let's, let's, let's give it a run. I'm probably gonna run it with this body first, guys. It's the badge body. Um, just to test out the steering and whatnot. So uh, this body uh, to come. Maybe run this one at night um, with the light. But during the day, I'm gonna run this guy. Let's get it. All right, guys, we outside. Uh, gonna do a really quick run without the body um, to test out the larger wheels and the axles and the dips on uh, this NASCAR Grome. Again, the 12 millimeter hex uh, conversion with the bigger wheels. I'm uh, just gonna give it a run really quick and then I'll uh, put the body on there and run it with the body. Uh, let's get it.
All right, guys, we got the bodies. Let's go ahead and put one on. There's one out in the sun. This is the one I jacked up without masking off the, the window. So I just sprayed it. It was actually raining when I sprayed this too. So the paint didn't adhere all the way well. Um, so definitely a badge body, guys. Pretty sick though. You see the pearl in it? Pretty dope. That's the strawberry lemonade. And here's this bad boy right here. Just got a blue pearl in it. As you can see, it flipped a little bit. You know? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, so I did definitely, I'm gonna run it on this one right now, since like I said, this is the bash one. Test it out with these tires, see if there's any rubbing, see what kind of cutting, additional cutting I gotta do. And then uh, we're gonna call it quits. Just to set up. We have the actual, we're borrowing the battery from the, our Larlo Rogue One. It's a little 3S battery. I'm gonna borrow that. Check it out. Uh, so far, these street tires handle way better than the um, Slicks factory, FYI. Let's get it. All right, so we're gonna let the, let's go ahead and turn it up, turn it back on. Let's go ahead and put this body on here. We're recording. We're gonna give it a run. I may end up making me some little tethers for these, to be honest. She's the nails, guys. Doing a little multitasking, clean my barbecue grill. Getting ready to put some, some meat on the grill and watch some football and work on some RCs and, and do everything. So this uh, remote actually has, um, let me show you. So I do have the app in here for GPS. I don't have the GPS in here, but I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a GPS app in here. You probably can't see it, but I have that in here. Also, the app for FureTech is also here. Let me load that for you. You probably can't see it either. But the app is there too for Fury Tech. So with that being said, I'm gonna walk across the street. The sun is a little sun is out. It's not as hot, but it's still warm enough for um, the GoPro to turn off. You feel me? So with that being said, let me go ahead and just walk across the street, get into some of this shade, and see if I can let it rip real quick. We are on 70% throttle. Ooh, that's a nice color. Oh, that looks bomb. Okay. Let me get across the road. Stand under this tree. We gonna run it a couple times. Let's see what it's looking like. Let's get a, get a look at it. Bring it back. Oh, it's moving. Okay, okay, okay. And that's 70% throttle, guys.
Looks good. And I have my steering on 64 rate rating. Just to control it a little bit during like the power drifting and all that. But these tires handle way better than the stock tires. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, I know you guys probably don't want to convert to 12 uh, hex, but they got to come with a better tire. These tires are way better. It handles way, way better. And I've been running these cars for shit since they came out, you know? As soon as they dropped the hat, I had three. Um, so I got my time in. I understand, you know, my settings and how, how I got them rigged. Um, you guys know I have I have a few. Um, this one is with the Fury Tech. I got one with the um, Castle 4400 KV combo in it, and then I also have the um, the uh, BL BL60 ESC with the um, uh, Hobby. Not Hobby. What is it? Um, what is it? Hobby King. Or King Val, my bad. King Val, 5,900 kV motor. And that mug is, I pay like 70 bucks for that setup and it's blazing fast too. This is a nice setup. This mug costs 100 bucks. You know, if you want the Fury Tank. I actually picked up another setup from my hobby shop yesterday. They only had one come in and I hurry up and bought it. I hurry up and scooped it up. They got, they said they got five more coming, um, but they only have one. And I said, let me get that. So let's get a quick look at this body in the sun real quick. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Black wheels look dope. I was looking for me some yellow wheels, the same size as these. Um, I'll keep looking. I'll see what kind of damage these tires are doing under the body. Um, I didn't put any tape underneath this body. I did on the, on the yellow one though, to protect the rub. These tires don't balloon that much. Um, you really gotta be flying for those tires to balloon. But, and again, this one has the, the uh, metal uh, front and rear diff. You know, as well as the axles are metal, hubs are metal. So it, it can take the power of whatever you throw at it. You know, so thought there was a car coming. So just a really quick rip, guys. Ain't trying to break the speed record or sound barrier or any of that. Just a nice neighborhood run. You know, hopefully you guys are able to Get your hands on one and, you know, if you're gutsy enough, you know, get the, do the change to the 12 millimeter hex so you can put some bigger tires on there, get your body painted up and uh, see for yourself. I mean, this mug is a little bit smaller than a Traxxas drift car. So I sized it up yesterday. Um, but same thing with those, that's a $400 car, you know, from tracks is this is what 179 but by the time you get through doing all the other stuff to it they about equal you know but you get more power going this route a little smaller you know scale but just as fun stock servo stock everything 
Um, I do have the control arms, the steering assembly on order too, just to, for shits and giggles, just to try it out. But for the most part, this mud drive is super straight. Uh, this remote is amazing, you guys. So anyone's on the fence of getting this particular remote, um, all you gotta do is just take your time out and learn it, understand it. And if you got a ton of Spectrum RCs, why not? You feel me? Shout out to my uh, my brother, Big Gap, who pretty much, you know, um, he was the first one with it that I knew and um, started doing his thing with it. And um, I was like, you know what? Let me, let me get me one and um, figure it out. So along with this one, I got the Radio Master, I got the DX5C, and I also have the Noble uh, MB4 Pro, and that's on my fifth scales. The one that swing the arm around and whatnot, the $500 one. Uh, that was cool too. But by far, I'm enjoying this one because you can get rid of your, your cell phone. You definitely can. And even for me, you see, I got my face on the background. I got apps, I got solitary, all this stuff on this phone, man. I mean, on this, look, calling the phone, on this transmitter. And this, this mug moves. Dial it in and enjoy, guys. For real, for real. So I got a few more of these I gotta button up. You know, and then uh, be back on the channel with some more uh, material. Just been out of town for work, um, went on vacation, and then I've been in Houston past few weeks. Shout out to everybody that's in Houston, you know. Um, but I'll be heading back there next week. So I'm gonna try to push out some videos before I head back. And uh, so just stay tuned, guys. Appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me. Uh, uh, giveaway is coming. So I am giving away one of these bad boys. You feel me? You guys let me know. I got like three Menards that's still in the box. So I'm giving away one of them bad boys. And I may throw in a system. I'm not sure. We'll figure that out. If not, it's just gonna be brand new shit to you. But just keep a lookout for that for that giveaway, guys. That's coming soon. Come on up over here. Eventually, I'll do a speed run too, and I got some room. Ah, grab this bad boy. So you can see the paint and stuff. It's black underbelly. That happens when it's uh, the paint separates when it's cold, and you're still painting while it's wet. So it was raining yesterday. You can't even tell it was raining all day yesterday out here. But um, look at this bad boy. This mug is fire. I hate that I jacked it up. But it is what it is, folks. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Mitos. And uh, catch you on the next video. Peace and blessings. Go.